Hi guys, it's Joe and you're watching phonehouse.co.uk. Now the Samsung Tab 4 10.1 inch is a middling tablet that's made for general family use, internet browsing, popping off a few emails and maybe watching some videos. But is it worth the investment? Let's find out more. The Tab 4 10.1 is closer to being an enhanced version of the Tab 4 7.0 with a bigger screen and battery as opposed to being a stripped down version of the more sophisticated, more expensive Tab S. It's slim, heavy enough to feel good, just nine millimeters thick and feels fairly robust thanks to the metallic strip around the edges, although there's no Gorilla Glass to protect the screen. It's possible to set up widgets on the home screen, including for weather forecasts, time, or for Google search, as well as icons for individual applications. Remaining home screens can be personalized in the same way, which is common for tablets with the standard version of Google's OS. The apps drawer is accessed via a special icon located along the lower right edge of the screen, while it's possible to access many settings more quickly through the notifications panel. The 10.1 inch touchscreen is a thoroughly mid-range TFT LCD with a standard but not full HD resolution of 1280 by 800 pixels, which boils down to a measly 149 PPI. The display is not the Super AMOLED variety you'll find on the Tab S and other premium Samsung devices, but it's bright and clear and reasonably detailed, albeit without that pop of the fanciest screens. Poor imaging is the only serious objection here, however the colour is natural and precise as well as vivid and bright, all of which is to be expected in this range. Although we don't find the purest whites or the darkest blacks, its colour range is wide enough that it's not really a shortcoming. With Android 442 KitKat on board, it's not got the very latest version of Google's OS, but it's not far behind. Now, many more expensive devices are still shipping with this exact same operating system. Samsung's TouchWiz user interface is here too, and that menu tab that slides in from the side makes much more sense on a large tablet than it does on a smaller device. It's still a little bit busy and a bit fussy for some, but offers some good elements once you're used to it. The quad-core processor is clocked at a reasonable 1.2 gigahertz and backed by one and a half gigs of RAM. The AN22 benchmark test gave it a score of 18,498, which is roughly half the Tab S's mark. Despite its mid-range billing, however, the components it delivers are better than expected in terms of performance and it transitions smoothly between apps and even runs HD games without any obvious hiccups. There's 16 gigabytes of memory on board, though you can add another 64 gigs via a micro SD card. The three megapixel camera on the back is surprisingly below par for Samsung, which usually delivers above average snappers on all of its devices. It has a selection of photo modes, including beauty face, sound and shot and panorama, but these can't quite make up for the relatively low quality of the camera, which is subject to noise and doesn't reveal much in the way of detail. Plus, in these days when five megapixels and more on even the front facing camera is becoming pretty commonplace, it's disappointing to see just 1.3 megapixels supporting the camera on the front, which won't help you produce great looking video calls or selfies. The battery life is great. Inside a big, bolshy 6,800 mAh battery, which is more than half as big again as the 4,000 mAh model on the Tab 47, makes plain sailing for any heavy usage. The Samsung Tab 4 10.1 inch is a great little family tablet that's good for everyday tasks, but to be honest, it lacks the screen resolution and the performance to really compete with the big boys. 